What's up everyone? Today is my 100th day post stem cell transplant. So right now I'm driving to City of Hope for the 100 day bone marrow biopsy to check up on everything. Make sure there's no signs of leukemia or anything like that coming back. But um, shout out to mom for driving me. Just gonna make sure I get home in one piece. Let's see how it goes. So first things first, I'm gonna check in real quick. And then after that, get some blood work done. Then I'll be able to head over to the procedure room and get started. All right, guys, I'm all checked in and everything. Right now, I'm just waiting in the procedure room. They're gonna be in here about 20 minutes or so. Then I get to be impaled. It's gonna be wonderful. Looking forward to it. Uh, but hopefully, if it, uh, everything goes well, it's be the last one I have to do for like a year. So I will let y'all know how it goes afterwards. All right, biopsy's done. Um, went all right, back's a little sore. Not the worst thing in the world though. Um, they also took out the pig line that had been in my arm for over like three months. So definitely glad to be rid of that. Um, as far as getting results back from the biopsy, it's gonna take a few days, but as soon as I know, you guys will know. What's up y'all? It has been a week since my biopsy. I'm on a walk right now. I wanted to get out of the house to record this. Um, as you can see, it is a beautiful day in October um, and frankly a beautiful day for some good news because I got all of my test results back and everything looks good. There are no signs of leukemia, no signs of any abnormal cells, nothing that would cause worry. And obviously, as you can probably imagine, I am beyond stoked to hear that news and I feel so blessed. Um, you know, a couple months ago, I had that test when I first got out, the, out of the hospital. It showed things were moving in the right direction and looking good, but there was still a level of uncertainty, a level of worry in my mind about what this next test would look like. And for it to be clear, it's just, it's, a, I can't even describe how, how grateful I am that that's the news can't even describe how grateful I am for City of Hope, for my doctors, for my nurses, for everybody that's helped me get through this. Everybody that's helped me, you know, still be here right now today talking to y'all. Um, it's, it's, it's truly a miracle, truly amazing. I have a lot of stuff I wanna do moving forward, a lot of goals, a lot of achievements, and I can finally start to look to the future start to make plans and you know work towards those goals and stuff and I, I really want to share that I really want to make videos about that I think it's important for people to see that you can face something challenging go through something that may take time to conquer but you can get to the other side you can come back stronger than ever you can still live your life I think it's crucial that even if your body may fail you, you know that your mind, that your spirit, if you keep those things strong, if you have faith, and you can achieve anything. But I appreciate everyone in my life, all my friends, all my family, all my loved ones for supporting me, for helping me get through this. I appreciate all the love y'all have shown me on YouTube, all the comments, everything. It's unbelievable. I'm, I'm so blessed that, you know, there's so many loving people in my life that are here for me. Going forward, you guys are gonna see a lot more of me. Got some big stuff in the works, but um, for now, I appreciate y'all watching. Peace out, love y'all.